Hi, Mike from York English here. Today I'm taking you through some tips to prepare for your ESL interview. Number one, be prepared. It's really obvious to an interviewer when an applicant just doesn't have any interest in the job that they're applying for, or they haven't done any research into the job that they're applying for. So make sure you stay ahead of the curve. If your interviewer did send you some information about their school before you start the interview, you must read it through, and you probably want to have it to hand during the interview also. And if they didn't send you any information, then you probably want to ask yourself why? What are they trying to hide? It could be a red flag about the school. Number two, present yourself well. So, the chances are this is gonna be a video interview rather than a face-to-face -face interview. So there's a few things you want to check before you get started. Number one, make sure that your video chat software is working correctly on your device. Number two, make sure that you are dressed appropriately. And number three, make sure that you are well lit. Ideally, you want the light coming from the front rather than windows behind you. And number four, try to do the interview from a suitable location, ideally with not too much background noise. Now, these things shouldn't be deal breakers for an interviewer, but you want to maximize your chance of leaving a positive impression. So they're worth looking into. And on the subject of presenting yourself well, number three, showing enthusiasm. Teaching isn't a profession where you sit down in front of a computer most of the time and you deliver a boring presentation once a week. This is a job about people and about communication. So make sure that you've got the right skills for the job. Make sure that you demonstrate these to your interviewer, especially if you're gonna be working with young learners. Remember how important it is to make eye contact and to smile at the interviewer. All of these things will leave the interviewer with a very positive impression of you, which is so, so crucial. Now, of course, the interviewer is also gonna be checking your technical knowledge. So, number four, anticipate questions. Your interviewer may ask you some technical questions about your ESL knowledge. So think about grammar, classroom management, behavior management. What questions will they probably ask you? And have some answers ready to those questions. And if you're not sure of what your answers would be, then maybe you can think about how you'd find that information out. Maybe you can give some examples of times when you've been quick to learn or you've adapted to a new working situation. At York English, we don't mind if our teachers who we interview don't know everything there is to know about ESL. But if you can give us some confidence that you are able to adapt to a new job and that you can learn things quickly and that you are a thoughtful individual, it gives us confidence that you can cope with our training program and we can make you into that great ESL teacher that you want to be. Number five, think about past experiences. Now, at York English, we hire teachers who don't have any previous teaching experience, but that doesn't mean that we don't wanna hear about your past experiences. Maybe you've worked in a role where you've helped to train others, or maybe you've done some volunteering with children before. So think about these experiences and tell us about what you learned from them. Number six, ask some questions. Always, always, always ask at least three questions at the end of the interview. It really shows to the interviewer that you care about the job and that you've given it some careful consideration. So you might wanna think about what aspects of the job are important to you and send us some questions around those. So you could ask about the working hours or the community or the training. And if you can't think of any questions to ask, then maybe you could ask the interviewer to expand on something that you already know a little about. Number seven, check out the school. By this point, you've probably done your research into the school and you've probably visited Glassdoor and checked out the ratings that the school has. But the interview is your last chance to really engage the school with a critical eye and answer any doubts that you have about the school. So think about these things. Is the interviewer asking you enough questions? Do they seem legitimate? Are they giving you confidence in them? And crucially, do you want to work for this school? And finally, number eight, relax. Okay, I know that trying to relax is a bit of a paradox, but it is very important because if you're shaking with fear, then your interviewer isn't really gonna have much confidence in your ability to stand up in front of a group of students. So take a deep breath, try to calm down, and remember these words, fake it till you make it. 
Those are eight tips on how to prepare for your ESL job interview. If you'd like more information on teaching ESL or working in China, then check us out at www.yorkenglishcareers.com. You can also follow us on social media, check out the links below, and please let us know if you agree or disagree with anything in this video by using the comments. And finally, for the latest videos on ESL Live, please subscribe to our channel.